You're listening to High School Sports Talk on ESPN Radio, presented by VirginiaPreps.com. Now back to your host, Matt Hatfield, and the coach, Ed Young. Ah, oh, I've heard that before. The Florida State chant there, and we now have a special guest on the line. He is out of Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach, Florida State. Seminoles defensive lineman getting ready for the NFL draft in a couple of weeks. And we say good morning to Derek Noddy. Derek, how you been? I'm doing pretty good, man. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for coming on the program and uh, rescheduling the time for us. Uh, let me start with this. Getting ready for the draft process. And you had two terrific seasons coming off here with the Seminoles. 105 tackles, 20 and a half for loss, nine and a half sacks over the last two seasons. Um, what's it been like for you and how excited are you that we're literally less than two full weeks away? Uh, honestly, it's been an amazing, uh, amazing process. Uh, honestly, it's just been kind of, it's been kind of cool and collective about it. Just not trying to be over exact, um, excited. Just, just to be ready for when it happens. Honestly. Sure, and uh, it's always a dream to get to this point and be in the position where you're at now, getting an opportunity to play a game you love, like football, for money, at the highest level. When did you know that dream could become a reality? Uh, honestly, it, it was um, going into fall camp my my junior year. It was I felt real comfortable. It was, I felt really prepared, but at the same time, like in my mindset, I was like, I already know I'm gonna stay at Florida for four years because I want to get my degree. Hey, Derek, you know, as uh, this said, Young here, as you're getting ready for the draft, my qu question would be, are, are teams calling you? Is any uh, particular answers that people want to get from you, try to get a little di little deeper knowledge from you? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but they don't really, I don't know what to, when, when he called me, he was asking, like, any general questions, like, if I'm comfortable playing a two wide, three, what, what? things like that, but things like that, I'm kind of just comfortable playing whatever type of position because I've been playing pretty much all, everywhere, pretty much all, the whole defensive line ever since I got to Florida State. I'm comfortable wherever they put me in. Now, is there any particular team that's talked to you the most since the whole process started? Uh, I'm not. Honestly, it's kind of been a combination of from the Falcons, from the um, the Vikings, taught me a little bit. The um, Bucks taught me somewhat. It's, it's not a big majority. It's just kind of they all been kind of a good equal amount throughout the whole team. Chatting with Derek Naughty, Florida State Seminoles defensive lineman here on High School Sports Talk, presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1. It all started for the six foot one, 310 plus pound lineman at Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach. And we'll relive some of those memories here in just a moment. But um, looking back on your Florida State career, was it what you expected? Um, honestly, coming into Florida State, I wasn't really knowing what to expect. Um, getting, being coached by Odell Higgins is not what anybody really know, know what they're getting their hands in themselves into. But coming in, I kind of knew that this school was going to change me for the better. And that's what I kind of want. I wanted that challenge to better, to better myself as a person as, as well as a football player. And through all these four years, uh, looking back, I also feel like I made the best decision I've ever in my life. Yeah, I forgot when you were coming out of high school what it who what you were down to. I know Florida State was where you picked, but what were the other finalists in your in your decision? In my decision, it was, it was between well, Florida State, Ohio State, Virginia Tech, and UVA. Okay. Now, uh, what was the biggest surprise to you that you didn't expect? And uh, you know, when you got to Florida State and Tallahassee, what was kind of the eye opening experience part for you? If you can take us through that a little bit. Well, for starters, it was the heat. When I stood back, touched down, it kind of. <laughs> Really blew by surprise. It took me a long time to get used to that. That like it was so hot, I'll wake up, walk outside, and I'll just be angry, just completely angry. <laughs> but other than that, um, I want to say the high intensity, what my coach wanted out of me, it was it just felt like a lot coming in as a freshman. But after just learning the system as fast as I could, everything else was, wasn't a problem. 
Now, um, you played alongside another 757 player in Josh Sweat out of Oscar Smith in Chesapeake. I imagine you guys formed a pretty good bond. Oh, yeah. Honestly, as soon as we, as soon as we touched down to campus, it was just – it was a weird way we connected. But I ain't going to say it because I ain't trying to embarrass him. But it was, it was funny, though. <laughs> Now, we were talking about this earlier in the show how these mock drafts, and I don't know how much you guys pay attention to them, and some of you guys may say you do and you don't or vice versa, but yourself and Jalen Holmes and Quinn Blanding and Andrew Brown and Josh Sweat, many of you went to the Rivals five-star camps coming up and the combines and the showcase events. And Did that serve as any extra motivation for you coming up in such a star study class saying, you know what, if I don't play my A game, they're not going to look at me college-wise and have a chance to be a pro guy? Uh, honestly, that was kind of my mentality when I was in high school because uh, I felt like I was really being underrated, honestly, out, under, not really looked upon because like, a lot of high-class athletes from a lot of my, all, honestly, all of my friends from uh, Andrew Brown, Quinn Bland, and from Jalen Holmes, I wanted to know, make sure they know that <laughs> I'm here too. I just want to make sure that I can, I can provide my work so I can show what I can I can earn my keep, so to speak. So it's just give me that a little more of a chip on my shoulder. And Derek, now what? How would you describe yourself on that field? What do you do the moment that ball is snapped? What What are your pluses? I mean, well, for me, I'm more of a I'll keep. I really, really keep close on um, myself, on what I gotta do. I, my mindset is really just like what I gotta do, and that's pretty much point blank. So if I'm me getting down my stance, I'm looking straight at. I'm at the court, uh, of course, I'm looking straight at the linemen, the, the stances, the splits, looking for the position of run, the running back. And by the end, I'm kind of figuring out which way, it, whether it's going to be a runner pass, which way they're running, which way they're sliding, things like that. I also got to ask you this one because I love the linemen, but people say there's a lot of smack talk going on in those <laughs> piles, and there's some punching, not well, not punching, but some slapping in face and Whatever. Can you reveal that, or is that a lineman's secret? I honestly, as a lineman, I feel like it, I mean I know it, it happens, but it never happens towards me because I ain't, I ain't the type of person to be talking. I'm just more just I'm gonna do, I gotta do what I gotta do, and that's about it. <laughs> Plus, Derek's not the guy you want to punch or slap around. He might get you back on the next play. We're talking with Derek Noddy at Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach. Just finished up a fine collegiate career at the Florida State Seminoles where he had the last two seasons. Check this out. Some really, really good numbers. 105 tackles from the D-tackle position. 20 and a half for loss. Nine and a half sacks over the last two seasons here on High School Sports Talk presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1. A couple more minutes for Derek. And then we have the always fun rapid fire form. We'll throw some quick questions and see if he can knock him out on his feet there. Uh, uh, Derek, you got a favorite win and a most painful loss. All right, let's see. A most painful loss, that would have to be, oh, man, that was probably my junior year when we played Clemson. And, like, we was literally down to the wire in the last two drives on the line. We literally lost because we got versus a false start. Then we got sacked. Um, the, the most memorable win, it will probably be, it was my first, it was, um, my freshman year, uh, the ACC championship. Um, I don't think I, don't think I was expected to play. One of, my, one of my teammates got hurt, and I just ran right in. And I played pretty much the rest of the game, and literally won. We won, I think, by like a touchdown or so. You mentioned a little bit earlier, but I want you to kind of go a little deeper if you can. Um, you got the most improved player award the the spring going into your junior season. What, in your opinion, triggered that quantum leap? if you will, in your play from sophomore to junior year at FSU? Uh, honestly, me first, I was really taking – one, I was taking a lot better care of my body. I was taking a lot of yoga classes about four – three or four times a week. I was always in the weight room at least three times a week. I was always stretching. I always taking care of my body, which really helped me out um, going on in the season, honestly. And a lot of it was – and a lot of it – I. Like, it's really just me make, taking care of my body because I always got to make sure I had enough sleep, drinking a lot of fluids, eating the right things. Because that's when I really started kicking in my, my diet plan I really wanted to do. I really pushed away all the foods that was, was slowing me down from fried foods, the candy, the sugar, um, chocolate, things like that to help really fine-tune my body to help me, um, to help me really perform better. Derek, you're giving up the good food, though. You're giving up the good, the good food. Hey, what what NFL player is there? An NFL player that you kind of 
resemble after or you kind of watch to kind of learn some of his technique that you'd like to see put add into your game? Uh, a lot of dudes I really look, uh, I look after. Uh, one is Timmy Jernigan. Uh, he was a former player from Florida State. And I always, honestly, before he even came to Florida State, I always wanted to, to try to be somewhat like him. Just to show the type of dominance that he had on the field. A little bit, I look at uh, Jared McCoy as well, uh, Aaron Donald. That, uh, just, just name a few. Now I know you'll play anywhere that whoever wants you want to play and start that career. But who would you like to hear call your name uh, when draft time comes? What particular team? Honestly, I'm 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 eager for any type of team to call me because I feel it's. I, I know you kind of already said that, but it's just like I feel it becomes like any type of scheme, honestly. And I'll, I'll, and meeting a lot of these coaches, I feel comfortable around every single one of them. But, so no childhood favorite team growing up? Uh, oh yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I was a, I was a Steelers fan as soon as I the first game I could watch was the Steelers game, and I've always, I've always been a fan of them ever since. So you like the Steelers, Derek? Yes, Here's what I don't get. My co-host, Coach Young here, who coaches at Nance River, he's a Steelers and a Raiders fan. I think that's like illegal. You can't be like a Red Sox and a Yankees fan and a Steelers and a, and a yeah, Raiders fan. That's yeah, kind of out there, isn't it? That don't make any sense. That don't make any sense. Well, I, I have to have a 1-1 one, one and a 1-A team, so those are my two teams. When they meet, well, it's, it's hard to root because I like them both. And you would look good, Derek, in a Steeler uniform. <laughs> Thank you. Well, they got a lot of 757 flavor on that roster. They've had Arthur Motes. They've had Shamarco Thomas, another Ocean Lakes guy in the past, and Mike Tomlin's a Denby grad. A couple more for Derek Nottie here out of Ocean Lakes High School in Florida State before we do rapid fire. I want to know, because Coach Young hit on this a little bit earlier with you, Derek, uh, without giving away who, what was the strangest question you got asked by someone in the NFL? Any, anything that was like, whoa, that's bizarre? Honestly, nothing really weird. It was like one question was just asking if I like sugar with my grits. Sugar with sugar your, with your grits. grits. Okay. Yeah. Never heard that one before. Right. One do you record. do you like sugar with your grits? But the thing is, I don't even like grits like that. I go <laughs> oatmeal cream of wheat. So I was like, uh, no, nah, not really. Tell me to put uh, a, a cereal on your corn or a sugar on your cornflake. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Derek, we thank you so much. Before we let you run, can you do some rapid fire with us? Sure. All right, rapid fire for the great Ocean Lakes Dolphins stand out. From Virginia Beach with the Florida State Seminoles NFL draft coming in a couple weeks, and I think he's got a good chance to go uh, somewhere high in that draft. All right, Derek, favorite movie for you? Oh my goodness, that'd be the, uh, the Blind Side. Oh, Blind Side's a good one. I can see some similarities with you, and Michael Ordo. Michael Ordo's offensive line, though, guys. So not a ton. Favorite TV show? Ooh man, favorite TV show. Oh uh, dang man, you got me. I don't know. It um, shoot, I'll, I'll just throw out of the dark. Probably like Dragon Ball Z or something like that. What's that? Dragon Ball Z, I guess. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. All right, cartoon, no problem. Arm wrestling match. Now, uh, who wins between you and your FSU teammate, Josh Sweat? Me. You win. All right, so the winner gets your former defensive coordinator at Ocean Lakes, Chris Ramey. Who wins? You or Coach Ramey? Me. All right, you know it's Coach Ramey's birthday today, right? Yeah. If you if you had to buy him a present and he's a hard guy to shop for, what would you buy him? Oh, uh, a weightlifting set. <laughs> I could see that. All right. Uh, last three for you. One last meal on earth. It's your last meal. What are you eating? Oh, sorry. I'm going. I gotta go with my father's spaghetti because he did. What you don't know is my dad can make it spicy and he can make it sweet. So like he can obviously can make it sweet and spicy. So I gotta go with that one right there. I can dig some sweet and spicy spaghetti. Yeah, that sounds good today. Uh, last two for your toughest offensive lineman you faced either in high school or college. Who would it be? Um, that's a hard question. Um, I, I, I'll give it to – I'll probably give it to Boston College. To who's that? Boston College. Okay. And uh, what's the first item you'll buy with your first NFL paycheck? I honestly don't know. I might get me a, a used car, maybe. I don't know. All right, you get some, some nice nice whip there and uh, ride around and celebrate being in the NFL. Well, Derek, we wish you all the best in the draft in a couple of weeks. It's been fun to watch you grow uh, as a man and as a football player from Ocean Lakes to Florida State and now going on to the NFL. Uh, keep in touch, and we'll try to get you on again after the draft sometime, all right? All right. Thank you, Derek. Good luck to you, Derek. No that is Thanks. Derek Noddy, the outstanding defensive lineman from Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach and Florida State. Good kid. Do you like sugar with your grits, Ed? 
I'm like, I don't eat grits. All right. I don't eat grits either. So. I don't eat sugar. That is so that one's one. out. That is a weird one. All right. We're going to close up shop today. It's been a jam-packed.